Good morning to you. It's Tuesday. It's almost noon, so you know what time it is. I am Coach Ryan. Today's Tuesday, May 12th, and I'll be leading you through today's at-home OTF workout. The focus today will be total body endurance and strength. We got some core sprinkled in today, but it's going to be a fun one today. What you'll need for today's workout, you will need mat tile as usual. You will need two medium objects or weights by medium, somewhere in that 8 to 12-ish pound range if you're looking at dumbbells. And then also you will need something that you can step upon, or so, something that you can jump upon like so. So that's a chair, stool, even your steps. It could be a toolbox that's sturdy, okay? Make sure it can support your weight, something that you can jump upon. It doesn't have to be real high for these box jumps today or at the very least, something that you can do running step ups on, okay? And then also, you're gonna need some coordination today. We're gonna put on your thinking caps for some of the exercises. We got a lot of total body moves, a lot of combination moves today too. And so, be ready to put your coordination caps on today. It's gonna be a fun one. Good morning. Good morning if you're joining me live. If you're viewing this later today, Facebook, YouTube, we'll get started with the dynamic warm up around the four ish, 430 mark is when we'll get started. Okay, remember, all out mayhem will be at the end of this month. My towel for today, I'm using one of the previous all out mayhem towels. I believe this is the all out mayhem towel from last year. Okay, this year, if you sign up, at shopmorestheory.com, you'll be able to get an All Out Mayhem hat. The All Out Mayhem will be an at-home edition today, uh, this year. Okay, so shopmorestheory.com, that's where you can sign up to register for your All Out Mayhem hat. And then the All Out Mayhem at-home workouts will be the last week of May, May 26th through the 31st, I believe. So, good morning. If you're joining me live, good morning, good morning to you. Good afternoon in a little bit. Again, if you're just joining me, you will need mat and towel, two medium objects or weights, and you will also need a sturdy box, step, stool, something like that, okay, that you can do some box jumps on, or at the very least, running step up. They can even be one step in your house. It doesn't have to be very high. Notice I'm using the low bench here. It does not have to be very high, okay, but you will need that for today's session. There we go. Good morning, good morning. See a few people more joining me live. Good morning to you. Love these at-home workouts team. I love bringing them to you. Okay, I get excited every day waking up, getting to do these for you. Like I said, today, we got a doozy for you today. So uh, hopefully you come ready to work because we're gonna be working. We're gonna be working the mind and the body today. There we go. What do we got here? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Tammy says, you can comment on the Facebook post about the minivans. So we got minivans available, that will be available tomorrow. I think there's only nine left, okay? So if you want some minivans, go ahead and comment on the previous Facebook post. Right? We'll get started in a little bit. Can't wait. All right, team. Ooh, man. I tell you what, with those objects today, Medium, maybe even light to medium objects, okay? Don't want to be a superstar with the objects today because we have timed efforts pretty much all day today. All day throughout the workout, it will be timed efforts. So light to medium objects, no need to break any records because they will add up on you as we get along in that duration. All right, team, I got you in the wall watch. So we'll go ahead and get started. 
Good afternoon to you. Today is Tuesday, May 12th. I'm Coach Ryan. I'll be leading you to today's at-home OTF workout. The focus today, total body strength and endurance. We have six working blocks today, and as always, you have a dynamic warm-up to start and a flexibility block to end it. We're going to start with a four-minute dynamic warm-up. We've got four exercises done for one minute each, which I will demo real quick for you. We're going to start with the cobra swing, laying down on your belly, Arms will be at your sides to start. We're gonna bring the legs and upper body up off the floor, between the arms forward, back, and then lower. We're gonna do this nice and controlled here for one minute. Actually, you can reduce the range of motion. T-spine rotation, 30 seconds each side. We're gonna start the tabletop position, hands under the shoulders, back flat, shoulder blades pulled back. We're gonna take one hand behind the head. We're gonna rotate the elbow toward the center of your body, and then exhale as we rotate out away from your body. 30 seconds each side. Next, we're gonna do the squat to stand. We're gonna start in a nice set position before we start. Shoulders down and back, navel in toward the spine, hips and glutes tight. From here, I want you to squat down, weight back in the heels. I want you to grab your toes here, and from here, you're gonna extend the legs, keep your back flat, go into your range of motion, and back down to the bottom of that squat. As an option, reduce the range of motion, but try to keep your back flat you go to your range of motion. Finally, jumping jacks for one minute. Arms and legs extend out as an option. One leg out at a time, getting those heart rates up to end this warm up, all right? So, let's start out with that cobra swing. Here, we're working core, opening up the posterior muscles, especially the shoulders. So you go at your own pace here, take your time. Cobra swing for one minute in three, two, and one. So arms start at your side, arms and legs lift, out, back, and down. You go at your own pace here. As I always like to say, take this time on these dynamic warm-ups team, not to just get your mind loose, but start to get your mind right for the workout. Start to connect your mind to the working muscles team. Halfway, 30 more seconds. Your mentality is everything, team. This dynamic warm up not only gets the body ready, but start to get your mind ready as well. 15 seconds, and then we go to T spine rotation. T spine rotation, team, in three, two, and one, tabletop. Inhale as you bring the elbow in. Exhale as you go up. Take your time, really open it up. The shoulders, especially the real part of the shoulder, 15 seconds. Engage the core to tabletop. Push through the floor with the hand that's on the floor to engage the chest and shoulders on the opposite side. In three, two, and a switch sides, 30 seconds here. Remember, inhale down, exhale out. Here we go, team. We got 15 seconds. All right, here we go. We're gonna go squat the stand in three, Two, one. So start, set position. Grab those toes, way back the heels as you squat, chest up. Extend the legs, back flat, and back down. Remember, you go to your range of motion here. This is a dynamic way to really loosen up and open up your hips and get a nice good stretch in the hamstrings. You start to work your quads as well. We got 30 more seconds. So again, you don't want to round your shoulders as you extend. Stop right below that point. That's your range of motion. Your range of motion is where you get a nice good stretch and keep your back flat. The better your range of motion gets, the more you'll be able to extend up and go deeper in that squat. Jumping jacks team in three, two, one. Final minute of this warm up. 
Nice hip jump and jack team. Here, we're getting the heart rates up. Start to increase the core body temperature. With the heart rate increase, getting blood flow to the working muscles. We're gonna need it for today. Another option, one leg out at a time. Keep on moving. Get pumped up. Get excited, we got 30 seconds. did yesterday's workout. Legs might be a little bit sore. That's okay. 15. Okay. A little movement today. Let's shake it out. Well, we really got some nice, fun combination moves today. In three, two, and time. All right. So for today, total body strength and endurance for today. Now, I'm going to set up blocks one, three, and five right here. Blocks one, three, and five, there will be eight minutes long, well, eight minutes, 15 seconds. The way it'll work, you will have three cardio moves and one strength move in every block. One, three, and five. As we go down the block, your cardio move time will be cut in half, your strength move exercise will double, and it will be the same strength move all within the single block. The goal, maintain your cardio intensity as we go down the block and try to double the amount of reps you get for the strength moves as we go down the block. So first, I'm going to demo your three cardio moves that you'll see in blocks one, three, and five. The first one will always be for two minutes, broad jump to shuffle. So start out, set position, we're going to squat down, weight back from the heels, explode forward, think long and shuffle back to the land in the same spot each rep. Option, one big step, shuffle back. Your second straight move that will always be for one minute is the speed skater to triple high knee. So we're gonna start on one leg, stability. This range of motion will be short. One leg will be up, and then we're gonna drive to the other side. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, option, step, one, two, three, okay? And I'll try to count those one, two, threes in every rep. Third cardio move will always be 30 seconds is the box jump. Have your box, stair, step, stool, whatever, okay? Explode up and then walk it back down. As an option, quick step up on that chair, step, stool, whatever you got. You will see those same three cardio moves every block, one, three, and five, for those same durations. Your strength move for block number one will be the alternating lateral lunge to curl the press. So take your two light medium objects, start in set position, shoulders back, navel in toward the spine, hips and glutes tight. We're gonna lunge toward one side, try not to rotate your shoulders, keep your chest square, shoot the hips straight back. Pause and center. Curl and press, switch sides and lunge, pause, reset, center, curl, press. Every time we get to that strength move, I want you to count your reps because we have a rep count goal every block, okay? So, if what I said didn't make sense, don't worry about it. Just follow me, do what I tell you to do. This is an eight minute and 15 minute block, a 15 second block. We're gonna start team. Two minutes, broad jump to shuffle. Your goal, land in the same spot and set a pace that you can maintain here for the entire two minutes. This is the cardio aspect of the block, getting those heart rates up. We take off team, broad jump to shuffle. In three, two, and one, let's roll. Now here, you don't need to count your reps. Your goal, is to land in the same spot every rep and try to keep moving for the entire two minutes. I have my spot team marked off on the floor. So maybe you have something to mark off your target, one of your objects maybe, and try to land in that same spot every rep. You 
use those arms, team, to help propel you forward. Really exhale. We need to slow forward. Come on. Now, two minutes is a long time here, team. We're about halfway through it, which is why if you're not trying to go super hard. Think of it as a two minute push. Two minute push is different from a 30 second push. We're setting a pace that we can maintain for the two minutes. Take the option if you need it. Go. Keep moving. There we go, team. We got about 30 seconds, and then we'll have 15 seconds of rest. Fifteen, come on. Keep fighting. In three, two, and time. Fifteen seconds. We'll have fifteen seconds in between each movement. We're going to start first round. Thirty seconds. Alternating mountain lunge to curl to press. Thirty seconds. Count your reps. In three, two, one. Reset center, curl to press. Switch sides, reset center, curl to press. That's two for old Coach Ryan. You can go at your pace here, but remember, keep track of your reps. There we go, one more rep. In three, two, time. So Coach Ryan got about six reps. Keep that rep count in mind, okay? Next we're gonna go speed skater to triple high knee. In three, two, and one. Step, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, come on. One, two, three, we're here for a minute. One, two, three, one. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm counting for the rhythm. One, two, three. One, two, three. Keep moving. One, two, three. One, two, three. Halfway. One, two, three. 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 One. Two, three, one, fifteen, two, three, one, 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 two, three, and time. Fifteen seconds, then we go back to alternating lateral lunge to curl the press. We're here for one minute, so your goal is to try to double. Your rep count for the 30 second round. Three, two, and one. There we go. Now, I'm not going to bore you with my count, but again, your goal here is to move through the minute and try to double your rep count for the first round since you got double the time. There we go. As you lunge back, way back in the heels, try not to rotate. Set position in center. And then curl and press after that set position. Come on, team. Keep moving. Get that goal. We got 15 seconds. Where are you on that rep count? Come on. Here we go, come on. In three, two, and time. 15 seconds. If you double your rep count, give me a thumbs up. Remember that rep count, because you got another target. You're gonna take off for box jumps, team. Three, two, and one. Box jumps, come on. Remember, option, nice quick jog on that object. 
as an option. Try to maintain your intensity, each cardio effort. Come on. 15. And three, two, and one. All right, team, 15 seconds. Then we're going to end the block. Two minutes of alternating lateral lunge to curl to press. Goal is to try to double your rep count from the last round, the minute. In three, two, and one. Let's roll. Remember, when you get to center, feet dip the park, shoulders back, navel in toward the spine. Even though you have a rep count in mind, you're not trying to sacrifice your form for the sake of speed. Good form first, then a quicker pace. Just like the cardio movement, two minutes is a long time. So again, this is a pace that you can maintain for two minutes. Better to go a little bit slower rather than coming out too hard and have to rest and stop in the interval. Come on, team. You got this. We're almost at the end of the block before we get a core break. I use the term break very loosely. Halfway, one more minute. Come on. Hips back when you lunge. Option. Reduce the range of motion if you need to in the lunge. Come on. Stay strong. Stay with it. I want you to stay in the work. Keep your mind engaged. Okay? Coach, two minutes can get bored. No, it won't. If you stay engaged every rep. Come on. Focus on your form. Focus on your shoulders. Focus on your hips. Focus on keeping that set position in the middle. You got lots of things to think about to engage your mind and your body for two minutes. We got 15 seconds. Come on. Yes, team, come on. And three, two, and time. And we are done with that block. If you were able to double or more your rep count each round, give me a thumbs up, give me a heart, give me something to let me know. Awesome job if you did. If you didn't, that's okay. Your goal is to keep working, okay? Now your next block of work will be a three minute core block where we have one movement, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest for four rounds. So that totals to three minutes. Your move for this block, leg raise to hip raise. Start out laying on the floor, leg straight, bring the legs all the way up so they make a 90 degree angle with your body and then shoot the hips and glutes up. Try to drive the heels toward the ceiling and lower slow controlled down toward the floor as far as you can without touching. Option, you can bend the knees as you work through this movement to reduce the lever. Remember, we got four rounds of that, 30 seconds work, 15 seconds of rest. A little three minute core break before we head back to the next cardio and strength block. Let's take off team. Leg raise to hip raise in three, two, and one, 30 seconds. You go at your pace here. Okay. Nice and controlled. You know what core work. Take your time here. It's not about speed. We got 15 seconds. Exhale, driving the hips and glutes up toward the ceiling. In three, two, and one. 15 seconds. If you need to cover over a little bit to stretch it out, do it, but we got 15 seconds. The turnaround will be real quick. All right, round number two, team. In three, two, and one. Remember your option. Bend the knees to shorten the lever as an option. If you need an option, take it. Your goal, keep moving. 15 seconds. Breathe, exhale, 
Use your breath. And three, two, and time. 15 seconds. Oh, yeah. Starting to feel that burn, baby. Come on, embrace the burn. That's how you know it's working. Two rounds down, two more to go. In three, two, round three, let's roll. Remember, control your body. In all parts of the movement, control is the key. Control the movement, control your body. 15 seconds. go in three two time oh if you're like coach Ryan that round really started to burn okay one more round team and then we head back to the cardio and strength block we hit it in three two last round let's roll stay focused stay under control stay tight team Here we go, come on, fight for it for 15 seconds. And three, two, time. I'm gonna cobra for these 15 seconds so we get the three minutes to stretch out that core. Ooh, holy cow. Here we go, stretch it out team, three, two, and that's three minutes. All right, your next block of work, we're gonna head back to that eight minute and 15 second cardio and strength block. The only difference, your strength move will change this block. And I want you to pay close attention to this demo. Your strength move, hip bridge, chest press to double crunch. Take your medium objects, you're gonna start team. Palms face each other, elbows in tight to the body. We're gonna have your legs bent, drive through the heels to bring your hips and glutes up off the floor. Press the objects up and down, drop the hips, then raise the legs, shoulder blades up, keeping the objects in your hands, and then extend your legs and arms with the objects behind you, and then back for the double crunch, and then we reset, okay? So hip bridge, hips up, press up and down, okay? Legs up, crunch up, extend and crunch, and that's the movement. Again, options, you can lighten the objects, okay? You can also stay grounded for the crunch and make it a regular weighted crunch instead of a double crunch. I told you in the beginning, it's gonna be a mind and body workout, working a little coordination here, okay? So, we're gonna start. The first two minutes of this block, remember, two minutes, broad jump the shuffle. Your goal here is, again, maintaining intensity for the entire two minutes, trying to land in the same spot. Two minutes, broad jump the shuffle, in three, two, and one. All right, team, right back at it. So again, use those arms. If you need an option for this, remember, big step, shuffle, if you need an option, okay? Whatever you do, whether you're taking an option or doing the standard movement, set a pace you can maintain. It's about maintaining this pace for two minutes. Then two minute push on the tread bike or strider. You got this team, let's work. Mind over matter. Again, I know two minutes can be a long time, but stay tough mentally. Your body has it. It's about staying tough mentally, team, throughout this effort. Halfway. I know your legs are burning. Breathe. We'll put that next breath. Try to keep moving. See? You can hear me exhale. Okay, breathe as you work. Up. 
Come on, team. We got about 30 seconds. Come on, you got it, you got it. Come on, yes, you can. Yes, 15. Almost there. Almost at that finish. In three, two, 15 seconds. All right. Coming up. Hip bridge, chest press, and double crunch. Count your reps. Same thing. Count your reps here. Knee take off, team. Hips up in three, two, and one. Down and up with the press. Reset. Double crunch. A double crunch and a press is one rep. You may want to look at me, team. All right? This takes a lot of coordination. In three, two, and time. 15 seconds. I got about three full reps one of each movement, okay? Remember your rep count here, okay? Because we're trying to double that next round. Okay, speed skater, triple high knee. Three, two, and one. One, two, three. 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 You can go at your own pace here, okay? I'm just doing the pace so you know the count and keep that rhythm. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. But if you need to, go at your own pace. Remember, option, step. One, two, three, as an option. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Try not to rotate with the chest. 15. In three, two, and time. 15 seconds, and then we're going back. Hip bridge, chest press and double crunch. Remember your goal here is to try to double your rep count from the 30 second round. Here we go, three, two, and one. And down, drop. Okay, again, you may want to look at me in the video for a couple reps. This is a very challenging movement in terms of coordinating the body. Once you get the movement down, team, you're trying to add that tempo, that pace, to try to double your rep count number. Nice and controlled all throughout. Once you get a rhythm here, team, it's easy to set it and forget it. 15 seconds. Ah, there we go, full extension with the legs on the double crunch. In three, two, and time. 15 seconds, okay? Keep that rep count number that you had from that round, okay? The goal, we're gonna try to double it the final round. Box jumps, three, two, one. 30 seconds, box jumps, come on. Remember, option. Nice quick step up as an option. 15. seconds then we're going back two minutes of the hip bridge chest press the double crunch goal trying to double your rep count from that previous one minute round hips up in three two and one now hopefully you got a nice good rhythm from the previous round okay find that rhythm okay 
and then set it in your mind and then forget it. Let the body, let muscle memory take over. A lot of times, the less you think about it, the easier the movement is, the less you think. But still, try to stay in the work team. Here we go, come on. Remember, drive to the heels to keep those hips and glutes up on the bridge. Don't forget about those hips and glutes on the press. Remember, your hips and glutes are up off the floor. Every time you hit that chest press, we're halfway. Full extension with the arms and legs on the double crunch. Shoulder blades off the floor at the start and end of that double crunch. Knees in toward the chest. Come on, team. Yes, you can. Use that breathing. We got about 30. Come on. We got 15 seconds. In three, two, time. Hold. Eight minutes, 15 seconds down. Awesome job, team. If you were able to double your rep count each round, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. Coach, I was just trying to pay attention to how the move was. That's okay. Again, like I said, a lot of these moves today, we have to think about it a little bit, we're trying to build the rhythm and coordination. That's okay. All right? Now, we're going to take another three minute core break. 30 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. Your move here is the side plank hip dip to rotation. So we're going to start. Leg stacked, feet stacked, getting ready in that side plank position. We're going to drive the bottom hip and glute up all the way, and then top hand behind the head, rotate that top elbow toward the floor and back down. We're going to stay on one side all 30 seconds. As an option, you can bend that bottom leg, okay? We're gonna stay on one side for all 30 seconds, and then each round, we're gonna switch sides. Three minutes, 30 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. We're gonna take off for round one, team, in three, two, and one. All the way up, top elbow toward the floor, back and down. With core work, it's important to pause, reset each rep. 15 seconds, open up all the way before heading back to the floor. Really open up with those shoulders before you rotate. In three, two, and one. 15 seconds, now we're gonna switch sides. This next round will be on the opposite side. Yes, you can smile through it. Here we go. In three, two, and one. Let's roll. Here we go. Reset, open up. Rotate nice and controlled. And back. Breathe all throughout, team. Don't hold your breath. 15 seconds. Breathe as you open up. Inhale down. Exhale up. In three, two, and one. 15 seconds. We're switching sides again. Two rounds down. We're going to even up those sides. Two rounds to go. Remember, exhale up, inhale coming down. Three, two, and one. Inhale down, exhale up. So, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Come on, team. In 
in three, two, and time. 15 seconds, let's switch sides. One more side, one more round before we head back again to that cardio strength block. Here we go team, in three, two, and one, let's roll. Here we go. Notice my breathing. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We got about 10 more seconds. In three, two, and time. There we go. All right, team. That was a little three minute core break. Now, next block, we're going right back into that cardio strength block. Again, the only difference between this and the first two rounds, the first two blocks, is we change the strength move. Your strength move for this block is more of a dynamic total body move. It's the wide mountain climber to plank jack to child's pose. You guess there's a lot going on in this movement. So you're gonna start in the high plank position, okay? Hands under shoulders, butt down, feet about hip width apart. You're gonna tap each toe toward the outside of the elbow. So tap, reset, tap, reset. And then after that, plank jack, out and back in. Option, you can bring one leg out for the plank jack. And then after that plank jack, you sink into a child's pose. All of that is one rep. So I'm gonna review one more time. High plank position. Okay, option, you can do it for the knees and drive the knees up for the tap tap, okay? So high plank, one foot, reset. Next foot, reset. Plank jack, and back to a child's pose. Again, that is one full rep, okay? The first time we get to it, count the number of reps you get to, even if it's only one, maybe two, that's okay. And we're gonna try to double that rep count every round as we double the time. But as with the first two blocks, we're gonna start out with two minutes of broad jump to shuffle. Again, the goal, uncomfortable effort that you can maintain for two minutes, two minute push. So use options as needed, but keep moving in these two minutes. You take off, three, two, and one, let's roll. So again, maybe you marked off your spot. I marked off my spot. I marked off my start, and I marked off my end. That way I can stay consistent each rep. Consistent with each rep and consistent movement. Just like the two minute push on the tread bike for Strider. Come on. Or rower for that matter. Don't want to leave out the rubber. Again, get your head in the game. Get your head in the game. Don't talk yourself out of it. Just do it, team. You can do the work. Come on. Yes, you got this. Come on. Halfway. Good news is, after this, no more two minute efforts. Come on. If that's a motivating factor for you, use it. No more two minute cardio efforts after this. Come on. Stay with me. I'm here with you, come on. Stay with me team. We got 30, come on. Yes, remember breathe. You hear me breathing? You breathe too. Come on. 15. Yes, all the way through. Come on. In three, two, one. 15 seconds. Let's get set for that wide mountain climber, plank jack. Remember, the mountain climber and the plank jack and the child's pose is one rep. 
Three, two, one. So tap, reset, tap, reset. Plank jack, and back to the child's pose. That's one rep. Tap, tap, reset, plank jack, child's pose. That's two for Coach Ryan. Go at your pace. Come on. Three, two, time. All right, 15 seconds. I got about four in that rep count. So remember, remember your reps. We're gonna try to double them next round. Speed skater to triple high knee. Three, two, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Option, step one, two, three. Step one, two, three. Has an option, one, two, three. Remember, you go at your pace. If you want to use my count to keep your rhythm, do it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, halfway. Two, three. One, 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 fifteen. Two, three. One, 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 two, three. And that's time. Fifteen seconds. And the nose out the mouth. We're gonna get set. Wide mouth climbing the plank jack. The child's pose. Remember, you're trying to double previous rep count. Three, two. One, let's go for one minute. Now it's important, after every move, reset in that strong high plank. Shoulders back, butts down, okay? Don't forget to reset the high plank here. Set the anchors first, strong high plank. Remember, form over speed. Remember, option here from the knees. Knee drive, knee drive. One leg out, plank jack. Knee drive, knee drive. Other leg out, child pose. That's an option. Come on. That's it, team. Okay, three, two, time. 15 seconds. Remember that rep count you just did? Hopefully you doubled your rest in that last round. Let's get set for box jumps. 30 seconds. And three, two, and one. Go on. Remember, option, you can run it up. Jog it up instead of the jump. Come on. Keep moving here. Push face center for 30. 15. 15 seconds, and one more time. We're gonna go to wide mountain climber, to plank jack, to child's pose. Try to double your rep count from that minute. Here we go, in three, two, and one. Remember, remember focus, high plank here, and then work. Even as you plank jack team, Butts down, focus on keeping that high plank. No TPs, all right, no butts in the air, come on. Even though we're trying to match our rep count, okay, we still wanna be under control to keep the form and to keep our anchors engaged, your shoulders, navel and toward the spine, hips and glutes tight with your butt down as we work. Come on, team, you got it. We're halfway. 
One more minute. You got this. Yes. Even if you need an extra second or two, and that child's will do it. Stretch it out a little bit. Okay. Then we engage. Cool. Yep. Fight through the work. Come on. We got 30. We came this far. We're almost there. That finish line is in sight. Let's power through it. Not limp through it. Power through it. Come on. 15. And three, two, and time. Ho! That's it. Hopefully, you doubled your rep count. If you were able to, give me a thumbs up. Give me a heart. Awesome job, team. Guess what? We don't stop when we're tired and fatigued. We stop when we're done. We're not done yet. We got three minutes of work, and then we'll stretch. Your three minutes, one minute each of your cardio moves. Broad jump to shuffle, speed skater triple high knee, and box jumps. Those three movements, no rest in between. One minute each, and then you are done with this workout. Come on. Yes, you can, team. Stick with me for three more minutes. Get it in your mind, especially for this first movement. It's only one minute. It's only one minute the ball jump to shuffle. You've done three rounds of two minutes. You got it for one minute. Stick with me, team. I'll stick with you in three, two, one. Let's go. Cool. Broad jump to shuffle. One minute. Now, since it's only a minute, if you can pick up that tempo a little bit, that's a challenge. Goal, still maintain your two-minute intensity because we got no recovery in between the cardio movements. Go on. Here we go. Halfway, 30 more seconds. Remember, we're going to go right into the triple jump high knee. For the speed skater, the triple jump high knee. Once we get done here. 15. Come on. Stay with me. I'm here with you. Stay with me, team. Speed skater, triple high knee. Three, two, and one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, come on, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Stay tall. One, two, three. Stability. One, two, three. 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 Come on. Halfway. Two, three. One, two, three. One, try to rotate. Two, three. One, two, three. One. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Fifteen. Two, three. One, 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 two, three. In three, two. Box jumps. One minute. Come on. Last minute. Think of this. That's the all out to the finish line. Come on. Yes. Fight through it. Fight for it. You don't just get it. You earn it. Come on. 30. Yes. Fight the burn. Come on. Stay with it. We got 15. Come on. You got this. Don't stop until I tell you to. Come on. In 
In three, two, tuck. Ho! And that concludes your Tuesday. Now you know my rule. Come on. Stay up tall. Stay up. Into the nose. Out to the mouth. Let those heart rates recover a little bit as we pace. Okay? Inhale. Exhale. As you tile off, maybe you grab a drink. Whatever you do, stay up. Try to resist that urge to hunch over. Stay up tall. Your body recovers better that way. Trust me, team. Amazing, amazing job. Whether you're watching live, whether you're doing it later, amazing, amazing work today. Like I said, mind and body workout for today. We're gonna finish, team. With our flexibility, the first three stretches, it will be from the standing position, okay? So keep the deep breaths going. Hit the nose, out the mouth, chest lifted. We're gonna start with the standing chest stretch. Let's make the goal post with your elbows and arms. Bring the elbows down and back. Squeeze between the shoulder blades like you got a pencil between your shoulder blades. You'll feel this right in the outer part of the chest here. Let's hold for 20. Set position as you stand. Breathe. Keep those deep breaths going. Amazing job, team. And three, two, time. Scaling stretch. Okay, we're gonna start again that set position. Gently, we're gonna gently tilt your head and neck toward the side that tilts it. Okay, so in the video, it looks like I'm grabbing with my left arm and I'm tilting my head toward my left side. Gently, team, let's hold it for 20. You're getting the stretch right in the neck. The trapezius, rhomboid muscles of the side that you're leaning away from or going away from. In three, two, time. And let's switch sides. Stay tall. Keep pressing through the nose. Out through the mouth. About 10 more seconds here. Go in three, two, and one, all right? Now, we're gonna do a little bit more thinking here. We have a two-part stretch. We're gonna do a wrist extension and wrist flexion. 10 seconds of extension, 10 seconds of flexion. So remember, okay? You just baked a cheesecake for Coach Ryan, all right? And somebody's about to lean over and grab that cheesecake. You say, stop, okay? You stop, I want you to pull back gently on those fingertips. Let's hold here for 10 seconds. And after these 10 seconds, we're gonna push the fingertips down. In three, two, and let's go down. Palms still face away from that soft position. In three, two, and relax, okay? Let's switch arms, stop. And let's pull the fingertips back. Let's hold here for 10 those deep breaths going. In three, two, and let's push them down. Okay. In three, two, and time. All right. Now, our last two stretches, we're going to take it to the floor. We're going to get into a runner's lunge. Let's kneel on one leg, stay tall. Let's push forward through the hips. You should get this stretch right in the quad and hip flexor of the kneeling leg. Let's hold here for 20. If you want a deeper stretch, you can bring your hands to the floor and push forward a little bit more if you want a deeper stretch. 10 more seconds. There you go, team. Squeeze the hip and glute of that kneeling leg as well. Three, two, and one. Switch legs, tall, push forward, Let's hold here for 20. Again, if you want a 
put your hands on the floor for a deeper stretch. So push forward a little bit more if you can. Squeeze the hamstrings and glutes of that kneeling leg. That will help to get you deeper in the stretch. And three, two, and one. Finally, see the toe reach, shoulders back. Let's take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, reach toward the heels and toes. Go to your range of motion. Try not to round your shoulders. You go to your range of motion here. Getting the stretch right in the hamstrings of the legs. 10 more seconds. In three, two, and one. Ladies and gentlemen, you are done. Amazing job, team. Awesome, awesome work. Again, I love these workouts. They get better and better. They evolve each week. So glad you're staying with me, team. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, let me know. All right, I'll comment or comment, I'll comment later. This will be on the Facebook page and it will be on the YouTube channel within the hour. Coach Katie will be here with you tomorrow. And remember, we're waiting just like you to get closer and closer to seeing you all back in the studio. Remember, stay at school, don't do drugs, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Drive sober, get pulled over. Stay alive, don't text and drive, click it or ticket, exit the text it, only you. Remember, wildfires, Wakanda forever. Be a thinker, not a stinker, and don't get arrested. And may the force be with you, man. Live long and prosper now. May the odds be forever in your favor. Make like a tree, leave. Get out of here. Now, when you do, if you have scissors, don't run with them. That's not safe. Here's a fist bump. And as always, here's a double high five here for you. But please, stay six feet away from me. And please, 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 please wash your hands. And don't drink Clorox. Get out of here, you crazy.